Are you looking for the next craft beer? Well, maybe Fort Point by Trillium Brewing is for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are gonna try Fort Point. This is Mosaic the Dry Hopped. This is a beer that I received from No Hype Beer Reviews. I will put his um, YouTube channel down in the description. He sent me six. I have his six and they'll go out soon, but I had to have Jessica do this review with me. Why? Because because he like, likes me? Trillium is a brewery that I've been wanting to try. Yeah, I read all about you whining. Yeah. yeah. And what's ironic is we live in the Trillium Platt. Platt. Now, this is a 6.6%. 6.6% so ABV. Why do you want to try this? Because Was they make Trillium? amazing beers. Oh, boy. Supposedly. I cannot wait. I've never had one, so this so is... So it's be the first with you? Yes. Yep. First to be the first. It does have uh, the ABV on there, and I canned on is September 8th, 17, I guess. That was a good week. So I just have to say that it's brewed in Massachusetts. Yep. They make good things there in Massachusetts. They didn't make Tom Brady there. But he plays there, and they're good. <laughs> well, most of the time. So I, um, the bubbles are spread out on the head, white head, uh, half a finger of head. If we look at it, it is very, very cloudy. I cannot see through it at all. Orange juice color. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it, yeah. Is it that's what it's supposed to be? Yeah. Did you do this to me on purpose? Uh, no. What did <laughs> I do? Lying, look at you. <laughs> okay, smell. Look at my bubbles are like fading away. I'm scared now. Oh! Mmm. F. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Citrus, juice <laughs> bomb, fruity. Backhand. <laughs> It, yeah, kind I smell piney. citrus and pine. Yeah. Okay, what am I drinking? Mosaic dry hop. Okay. This can's kind of cool. That's how they do most of them. Like labeled? Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, citrus, piney, juicy, fruity is what I'm getting. Uh, the pine, to me, sticks out almost. I, I would say it's a tie between the citrus and the pine. It smells like they took a whole bunch of mosaic hops okay. and dunked them in the beer after it was done and then canned it. That's I, that's what it smells like. If I'm allowed to have an opinion, I would say that it's a nice mix of citrus and pine, actually. It's, the pine isn't overpowering. It's not too citrusy. Right. I think it's, it's a nice It's a well-balanced yes. New England IPA. I would say well-balanced also. Good job. And they're calling it a pale ale. Taste? I don't understand what the whole deal is. And we'll have to talk about this off camera. The, the pale ale IPA thing. If it's a pale <laughs> ale, how can it be an IPA? It's not. It's a pale ale. But it's not. it smells it's like... It's like a, a New England IPA. Yeah, but why is it a pale ale then? Okay, we'll have to talk about that later. Okay. Not for Drink. Here. Pine, pine, pine. All day long. It does have... Pine. I get like citrus, like orange peel. A yeah. little bit of pine. Not I... as much pine as you're saying. I'm getting a hint of citrus, but... You know, there are people in the world that like these beers and it's for them. And you're one of them. Yep. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, like, up front, you're... And I think it's because of... the It's more dry hot than anything. Like, you're not getting a lot 
up front okay. in the taste. It just gives me shivers. Like, it's almost like, I want to say, like a citrus orange juice bomb. Like, you, it's orange juice. No? It's not. <laughs> I just think it's it's citrusy and piney. I think it smells like, it tastes like what it smells. Like, the bitterness... Like, Going down is like a piney, like right before it goes down is piney, but it's it's like an orange juice. Okay. Bomb. I'm not really getting that. I'm not actually getting much citrus, and my aftertaste is still piney. I don't know. Maybe my palate just picks out pine and sticks on yeah. it and then stays with it Good. because it's just. I'm not getting a whole lot of citrus, and that's okay. It's not awful, and if you can see, I'm not scratching my tongue. Right. Well, it's because not it's not, it's not your typical IPA pale ale. It's more of a New England style where they're using Massachusetts. the hops. Massachusetts. New England IPA. Yeah, New England, Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I get like I get it. I get I get the New England thing. I just am not. It's not awful. I mean, I don't think that. I mean, I wouldn't want to drink this. But I wouldn't want to drink it. What would you give it out of five for somebody like you, though? I'd give it like a three and a half. Yeah. Because it's tolerable. It gave me a little bit of the shivers, but it didn't make me want to, like, scrape my tongue. It's not fabulous, but I've had much worse. Right. So, I would say, meaty, mediocre. I would go with a 4.5 out of five. You really like it? Yeah. That's good. Why'd you share it with me, then? Because... Oh, that's nice. Is it what you expected out of a Trillium beer? It Yes. From all the hype and stuff I've been reading, like okay. I said, this is my very first one. Okay. Um, yeah, it does live up to it. It's what I try and brew my beer. Mm-hmm. Like with the dry hop and everything <clears throat> like that. Our kid is... Trying to be a football player. He's like us. running le- relays or something. But yeah. Jake, you need to stop for a minute. Um, it's <clears throat> like it's, it, it's that... what it should be. Yes. That, like what I had in my mind, what everybody was saying is how it is. Okay. I just wish there was. I mean, you know, mosaic hops. You're going to get more fruity. I I do think with mosaic, you are getting more of that, like orange flavor okay. out of there depending okay. on how much you use yeah so yeah i think it's right i just wish there was more fruit in the front i wish there was something they needed to me obviously they needed to put in more hop additions like at 20 minutes left just to get something up front okay because I don't get anything up front. It's all in the middle going to the back. I don't think it's terrible, though. No. I mean, seriously, I don't think it's terrible, but I don't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't go as far as to say that I enjoy this. I would buy a case of this. Okay. Well, Mr. No Hype, send him my way. Brad's <laughs> birthday's in December. He likes it. Um, That's good, though. I mean, yeah. that's what is... It, it lived up to your expectations, yep. right? Yep. Um... That's okay. I don't think that you expected me to give it a rave review. No. I don't know if I can't figure out if you gave it to me in punishment or not. It's a new beer for me, so it's a new beer for you. It's always a new beer for me. <laughs> cool. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.